Welcome back to Fishing with Norby. Just got out here to another pond today. The wind is just howling, uh, but we're gonna fish this little public pond. It's not a private pond, anybody can fish this. And we're gonna try to see how we do today. Uh, we're probably gonna do some bass fishing, maybe some bluegill and crappie as well. I brought a rod for that. On the way in here, we passed a guy who had been fishing for a couple hours. He said he did not catch a thing. Um, so that's not a good sign. The water's a little high right now. It looks like it's uh, raised a couple feet from the rain just because you can see some flooded weeds. But we're gonna get started, try to catch some big old bass. Let's go. Because I had this on from my boat, I got a shaky head on. I'm gonna start out using it, see how it goes. It might be a little too mossy on the bottom for it, but I'm gonna try bouncing it off the bottom on the way back, see if we can get any bites. Cody's starting with a topwater rivet frog, see if any fish will blow up on this windy day. It's a little sunny for topwater right now. I think they might hit better later this evening. We'll probably end up walking to two or three different ponds today and see how we do. If we don't do any good at this pond, we'll just move on to the next one. Probably be a better idea starting on the windy side. I just did not want to do that because I got to talk to the camera and you guys wouldn't be able to hear me at all. So we decided to start along this dam. Scout, how you doing? Huh? Scout's out here with us today. He said he's ready to lick a fish, but he enjoys these weeds as well. We got us a little brush pile over here. I'm gonna try casting the worm by it. Cody had a blow up on her frog, but she did not connect yet. Missed one. He's having a blast. Yeah, you're a menace. You're a menace. Oh, there he goes. Okay, Cody and I each got a bite at this first pond, uh, but we have not connected yet. I'm gonna try for some big crappie or bluegill. Throw a bobber on, cast it out there. Put the bar about five feet down since it's sunny and i'm also going to put a crappie nibble on the jig try to entice these crappie into biting just a little more okay there's my jig there's the crappie nibble and we'll go about i don't know five feet up to start with put this bobber on there try to get a big old slab Chucking as far as I can out there. Oh, hooked up. There we go. First cast with the jig and bobber. What do we got? Feels like a bluegill. Feels like a bluegill. Yep, sure is. Oh, that's a giant right there. Look at that bluegill. What a toad. Fat, he's long, really long. Probably a nine inch bluegill. Um, not as round as some of them are, but man, he ate that jig first cast. Can lip it big as my hand there you go that is awesome good bluegill to start with see ya I'm gonna go ahead and put another crappie nibble on here uh, that extra scent might have just enticed him into biting oh hooked up got a fighter on here not sure what it is fighting pretty good though it's another bluegill. There we go. Another good sized bluegill. Not quite as big as that last one, but a pretty one. Definitely could eat this one if you're wanting to keep some. It'd flay up nicely. See ya. Got to put another crappie nibble on. There we go. Hooked up again. Got us another fighter. Come here. Oh, Scout, I forgot to let you lick the last two. I think, yeah, he's like, what are you doing? Another bluegill. Yeah, big bluegill, there you go, Scout. You get a lick, that one. 
Yep. That's all you get now. Look at that. Beautiful big female bluegill. That is a giant right there. These will make some great flays. Wow. See ya. Well, Cody is calling it at this pond. She says, I have not caught a bass yet. We are going to go try two more ponds tonight. Try to get on some bass. We got on some big bluegill already. So uh, we're just going to finish the rest of the night off with bass or maybe crappie, hopefully. Let's go. Come on, boy. Packing up. We're packing up. Okay, we just got back into the second pond of the day we're gonna fish here. We're gonna try to catch some big bass right off the bat, see if we can make that happen. Uh, there's also a third pond we might make it to today, but if we catch some big bass, I may try for some crappie after that. I've caught a seven pounder out of this pond before, so uh, who knows what's sitting in there, but we're gonna go try to catch a giant. Hooked up, finally. We got a bass. Scout's about to go in for him. We got one, Scout, come here. <laughs> He's so excited. Caught him on the topwater ribbit frog. Uh, he blew up on it, there we go. Couldn't get nothing on that worm, kinda odd. Got like a little 14, 15 incher here. Not bad, gonna release him, see ya. I don't know what's been going on with the bass tonight. Cody's going to go to the second pond. I am actually going to go cast about five more times for a crappie, and then I'm going to move on to the second pond as well. It's just right over the hill, so let's catch a few more before it gets dark on us. We've only caught one bass so far tonight, and Cody had a big one get off at this last pond, but that's the way it goes. Here we go. I just got the crappie nibble put on my jig. I'll fling it way out there in the middle, reel it slow, see if any crappie are holding out there. There we go, oh, I had one second it hit the water. Bit like a crappie too, probably was. Hooked up, hooked up right on the weed line. There we go, that is a good crappie. Oh yeah, <laughs> I missed him three times in a row on three casts and then he bit right there, followed it all the way in I think because I got hit on that cast before I caught him. That is awesome, a crappie, a bluegill and a bass tonight. That is amazing. That's a good crappie, probably 10 inches, maybe 11 inches. Fat, healthy, would be good eating if we were keeping them tonight. Uh, I love catching slabs, that was a blast. Might catch a couple more, then go join Cody at the next pond. See ya. My crappie nibble was not on my jig anymore. It was just this Tightlines UV jig. I'll link these down below. You guys can go check them out. They are really good jigs. I catch a ton of fish on them all year round. Bass will even bite them. Oh, hooked up. There we go, right next to shore. We got us another slab. Another slab, not as big as that last one. Still a keeper though, if I was keeping him. He's about eight or nine inches. Got a thick back on him, so he'd, he'd have some good meat. Beautiful little crappie. This pond is loaded full of them. Uh, both the ones I've caught have been right on the weed line. I've gotten some bites out there, but I think they're hanging right on the edge here if I had to guess. Right next to that cover, I think there's a little brush pile out here, but uh, haven't caught any on it yet. They've all been right next to this weed line. I've had two bites on the last two casts. I'm going to leave these fish biting, go join Cody, see if we can catch one good bass before the night's over. That one I caught earlier, I just don't consider it a big one. You know, I catch two pounders all the time. So we're going to have to go see if we can catch us a big one at this next pond. Cody's way down in the corner of this pond. That is a good spot. I'm gonna cast a few in this corner and walk down and see how she's doing. Scout! Oh, Cody. He broke it. Oh, dang, that was a big one. Wow. Cody just broke off, Scout just fell in, and I just missed one. 
Right at the last little bit of light out here. Gosh, this cab is cracking me up right now. I don't know if he thought the moss was land or what. Well guys, we are just getting back in the car. Uh, we fished till dark. Tell them what happened. I got skunked. Andrew caught like seven. He caught one bass and like five or six bluegill. Yeah. Good job. And two crappie. And uh, I said I'd rather be skunked than catch a bluegill. <laughs> what happened at the end? Probably a 15 pounder broke off on the line. Yeah. Yeah, she hooked a the giant there at the end and broke off the frog. But that's how it goes sometimes. The bass just weren't biting too well tonight. We caught some bluegill and some crappie. You saw that. I didn't fish for them too much just when uh, I got tired of bass fishing. Oh, wasp? there's a big wasp or mosquito. Ah! Got him. It's a big skeeter. Check that out. That's gross. That's nice. Get him. <laughs> Surprised you touched him. Scout fell in the water. He had a blast. Oh my. We're going to head out. We got about a 20 minute drive home. And we'll catch you guys next time on Fishing with Norby.